Hey guys, I don't know if you can see me. <laughs> I'm short. But I got a new bulb in my room, so hopefully there's light now for me to do this bookshelf tour. Um, so yeah. So my first set of books. Ooh, and you can't really see now. Oh, sorry. Um, I got all Jody Picoult here. And all of these I have not read yet. So I got Perfect Match, The Tenth Circle, Change of Heart, Plain Truth, My Sister's Keeper, Handle with Care, and House Rules. Then I have Dismantled by Jennifer McMahon. I loved this cover, and I had to have this color cover because there's different covers. Um, then I have Lisa Scottaline, Look Again. North of Beautiful by Justina Chen Headley. Breaking Her Fall by Stephen Goodwin. And The Path of Falling Objects by Andrew Smith. And also by Andrew Smith, The Marbury Lens. I got Dark Territory. This is the Tracks Book 1 by J. Gabriel Gates and Char Charlene Keel. I got this from Krista at Cubicle Blindness because she had two. So thank you again, Krista. I got Possessions by Nancy Holder. Love this cover. This was another one where I wanted this cover because there's different covers. Guardian of the Dead by Karen Healy. Girl Stolen by April Henry. And then two nonfiction. I have Rewind, Replay, Repeat by Jeff Bell. And this is a memoir of obsessive compulsive disorder. And then I have The End of My Addiction by Elevera Amison, MD. It's about um, a doctor, it's a renowned cardiologist, um, and he was an alcoholic. So that's the self. Let me come over here and. Sorry, guys. And let me pull down to the next show. Excuse me, I'm still new at this, so. <laughs> okay, on this shelf, I have uh, Liber Bray's Going Bovine. I have the first Soul Screamers book, My Soul to Take by Rachel Vincent. Personal Demons by Lisa, and I'm not even going to try her last name because I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, the Dark Divine by Brita Spain. This is such a beautiful cover. I love that cover. Uh, the Dark Academy, book one by Gabriella Poole. Love those eyes. Uh, Maria Hornbacher, Wasted. This is a nonfiction book. It's a memoir of her anorexia and bulimia. And I got, actually, I have all four of these, but my daughter, my daughter has the other one in her room. Uh, Dead is the New Black, Dead is Soul Last Year, and Dead is Just a Rumor by, Mar by Marlene Perez. I forgot what the last one's called. Um, Dead is a State of Mind. The ones I showed the other day, Emily by Emily Smucker. And John Belushi is Dead by Kathy Charles. Uh, Deadly Little Secret by Lori Feria Stolars, which I believe this is the first one in the series. Krista from Cubicle Blindness also bought me this. I take it as an early Christmas present, and I appreciate it so much. It's called Fury. It's a memoir by Karen Zalechukis or something. I can't pronounce it, but it's basically um, her trying to keep control of her anger. So that sounds really interesting. The Cellar by A.J. Witten. Breathless by Jessica Warman. Suicide Notes by Michael Thomas Ford. Breathe My Name by R.A. Nelson and um, Also Teach Me is by this author too that I want to read. Massive by Julia Bell. The Long Wait for Tomorrow by Jacqueline Dorfman. Almost Perfect by Brian Catcher. Hate List by Jennifer Brown, and then I seen a new one by her at the library the other day. I don't remember the title, though. Rehab by Randy Rusfeld, Reisfeld. Gone by Michael Grant, and I got this at least the UK edition. I got this one because of the 
colors of the edges of the pages. I believe the, one of the other books is blue and then maybe orange, I think. Um, but they're hard to find. The Bermudas Triangle by Maureen Johnson. Elsewhere by Gabrielle, Gabrielle Zevin. Stop me if you've heard this before. This one before by you, uh, David Yu. Pictures of Hollis Woods by Patricia Riley Giff, and this is a little scholastic book. You can see it's little. Breathing Underwater by Alex Flynn. She's a very good author. I suggest reading uh, Breaking Point by her. Uh, Freak Show by James St. James. I seen this movie and it was actually kind of weird. Uh, Quid by C.G. Watson. A Million Little Pieces by James Frey. And I do know that a lot of this was proved to be false, but I still want to read it. Little Brother by Cory Doctorow. Saving Francesca by Melina Marchetta. I also have uh, Jellicoe Road. The Astonishing Adventures of Fanboy and Goth Girl by Barry Liga. And this is just, look at that cover. It's awesome. The Missing Girl by Norma Fox Mazur. Ballad of Suburbia by Stephanie Kunert. Kunert. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, so I apologize if I'm butchering that. Tell Me a Secret by Holly Capella. And then we'll go down to the next shelf. And I suck at editing, so I'm going to apologize ahead of the time um, when you watch this video because it's going to not be edited too great. Before I Die by Jenny Downham. The Enemy by Char Charlie Hickson. And this also has black edged pages. I believe this might be like the third book. I'm not sure. But this was also autographed, which I thought was really cool. Uh, I didn't know it was autographed until I got it. Liar by Justine Larbellister. Black Tuesday by Susan Cobank. The Mission by Jason Myers. And Jason Myers, isn't that from um, Friday the 13th? Dreaming Anastasia by Joy Preble. Uh, another nonfiction, The Addict by Michael Stein. One patient, one doctor, one year. Obviously about being addicted to uh, prescription pills, I believe. Another nonfiction, No Good Deed. A Story of Medicine, Murder, Accusations, and the Debate Over How We Die by Lewis M. Cohen, M.D. Fixing Delilah by Sarah Ockler. And she also wrote 20 Boys Summer, which was amazing. I suggest you read that. Ellen Wake by Rick Burroughs. Uh, the Death of Jason Porter by Jamie Adoff. Hey Nostradamus by Douglas Coupland. The Unit by Nini Holmquist, or something like that, and this is actually translated from Swedish. I got two uh, Kevin Brooks books. I got Candy and Black Rabbit Summer. Rooftop by Paul Volpone. Darkness Becomes Her by Kelly Keaton. Like Mandarin by Kirsten Hubbard. And as you guys probably noticed, these books are not in any particular order at all. Uh, Other Words for Love by Lorraine Zago Rosenthal. Zago, Zago. And then A Memoir, Prozac Nation by Elizabeth Wurzel, which is also a major picture, motion picture now. I have seen this movie. I believe it's got Christina Ritchie in it. Um, it was a good movie. Okay. Now, I don't know if I even docked out of the way. I hope that you guys are still seeing things. I hope that the light is hidden stuff. Here it looks like it might be a little darker. I am going to actually try to move this up. Bear with me for a And let's see if this helps. Hold on, guys. Like I said, I'm still learning with this tripod, so, okay. 
This is my last shelf. Most of these up here are books that Mia can read and get AR points for, which is for school. So you'll see a piece of paper on the front with numbers on it. Um, I still have uh, Biblioholism, uh, the literary edition. I'm still reading this book. I'm on page 132. Uh, it's a very good book, though. Very good book. It's very interesting. I, I love it. Um, but it's one of those books that you read a little bit, and then, you know, you go back to it. So I have, from Claudia Gray, I have Evernight, Stargazer, and Hourglass. Uh, I have The Blue Girl by Charles Dillant. Before, After, and Somebody in Between by Janine Garcy. The Killer's Cousin by Nancy Worlin. Rosebush by Michelle Jaffe, which I have read this already. Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac by Gabrielle Zevin, who also wrote elsewhere, which I have up there. Just Like That by Marsha Qualley. The Pact of the Wolves by Nina Blazon. Jessica's Guide to Dating on the Dark Side by Beth Bantaski, and I think there's a third one out now. Um, Shimmer by Dallas Reed. Dead Connection by Charlie Price. Wasn't Charlie Price, it was something Price, wasn't it? Um, the vampire killer TV person on Fright Night. Nearly Departed, uh, Welcome to Weirdsville by Rook Hastings. You can see a face in there. I don't know if you guys can, but there's a face in there. It's so cool. Academy 7 by Ian Osterlund. Yes, Osterlund. Lund. An American Haunting, The Bell Witch by Brent Monahan. It says now it's a mo major motion picture starring Sissy Spacek and Donald Sutherland. Then I got these three by Lisa McMahon. I got Wake. Fade and Gone, which I still need to read these. Obviously, I need to read all of these, but all new books keep coming out that are so good, and I just, you know, can't keep up. Sisters and Sanity by Gail Foreman. She also wrote If I Stay and Where She Want, which just came out recently. Feed by M.T. Anderson. And the last one over here is Solitary by Travis Thrasher. So that's what I have on the shelf. Um, I do have some on my other shelf here, and I probably make that into a different video. So I can readjust my camera and all that. All right, guys. Bye.